Hi, it's Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton. We are back for the very last cabinet to be organized. It's an upper cabinet, and this used to hold our cereals and our breads, and, and you know, we, just, we didn't make sandwiches here. This was more like a letter writing and, and just laying the newspapers and the mail down station here. Um, here we seem to be snacks, and, and we moved all of the paper plates and napkins and everything out of this area and we moved it over here where when we open the refrigerator this is where we really seem to make the sandwiches and things and you can see here I'm getting ready to make my cough drops I've got a sore throat today so I broke out the honey and I'm gonna make my homemade a cough drop so bear with me but we've got all the cabinets cleaned out all the plants are washed the ships washed and um, i'm just really happy we put another curtain rod up underneath here and hung some baskets up and this is our new charging station and we can put letters and mail here what have you or phones and plug-ins and this right here is just my battery charger for my cameras i have like three or four of these cameras i'm holding one just like this one in my hand right now so and I just wrap this right through here, tied up the cord, and these slide back and forth on here and kind of hide that cord and stay out of the way of that. So that'll look really good when I get the kitchen painted because that is my next step. And this matched the one over here that I had for the herbs. All right, so what we've done here is, and if I can reach it, is I just have some extra salt, baking soda, brown sugar, and um, powdered sugar back in here for my baking station here. We have all my homemade um, like vanilla, orange, and uh, strawberry, and cherry, and lime, and lemon, and orange extracts right here. Okay, it's all my homemade extracts. And I just labeled it here, and I used a dry erase marker, so that way this right here would wipe back off. Um, over here, I have all my shortenings, cooking oils, coconut oils, and grapeseed oils. All the oils that I don't use, you know, that I, that I use probably the most often, I put here along with my breadcrumbs. Here I have packages of things that contain glutens. And here I have the same things that are gluten-free. And then here's uh, more things that contain glutens that require for baking. So now, if I'm going to make something gluten-free, I can just pull this off the shelf. If it's going to have gluten in it for somebody else, I can just pull that off the shelf. And it's just nice having it with the handles. This bin, I'm happy to say, is empty for something. Remember, you want to leave 20% of the cabinet free for future stuff. All right? Because you might be out of something and forgot about it. Now, up here, I show you right here how to, right there, just go right there and hit that link. Uh, when you're done with the video, come back and just hit that link right there. And I show you how to make my um, emergency medical kit now up here we have everybody's vitamins everybody takes something different everybody's needs are different up here at the top we have Lexi's medications from the vet and anything that she needs to take her medications um, anything extra for Lexi that goes up there then we have Jacqueline who know who lives in Texas but we still know when she comes to visit if she gets the headaches or whatever ever since she got mono up at Purdue off the drinking fountain she gets sick really easily, so I try to keep her type of medications on hand. There's Jasmine's medications, anything for cold and flu right here, and then the more common use stuff, which is more in reach, which is like blood monitors, heart monitors. Um, there's all the vitamins and all my medications is in this box. John's everyday medications is in this box, and then John's stuff that he doesn't use that often, maybe once a week or twice a month, is in this box. And that's pretty much it. So my cabinet is a 42 inch tall cabinet. So I got that extra shelf in there that really made a difference. And then up over the top of here is just some cake stands and, and the plate stands that we didn't use very often. Okay, so now let's drop below here. I'm gonna give this to you in a different look now. Look how clean that cabinet is and then look how clean line that is and all that junk now off the counter. Now, here's the new junk drawer. Everything is organized, and I just used these silverware things from Dollar Tree. And um, I got some things from Dollar Tree, and I got some things from Big Lots. So, you know, you'll find some things, you know, just flashlight, things like that. Go here, and you'll see the video on how I did this drawer. And then here is the cabinet below. 
and it has two pullouts now. So now the snack cabinet has a pullout. And then when I'm making my cough drops or any extra sugars or anything like that, we'll, we'll put in that one right there, extra jars of things. And then my oils that I don't use as often is down, you know, put them down here. And I got a few empty, so I've got some places. Extra mustards and condiments like mayonnaise and things like that are here. Extra boxes of crackers and cookie mixes. Just got to run the vacuum and I'm done. But for now, because of my throat, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my cough drop. So. Anyway, this is Chef and Builder Jamie Pendleton. We hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride as we organized our entire kitchen. And it was a big kitchen. It took me over a week to do it. Going out and trying to buy all the parts. I got most everything in either Dollar Tree. Most of the stuff came from Big Lots. Um, the, the wire napkin holders that held up the glass 9 by 13 pans, they came from Walmart. The plastic ones that held up like the lids of the Tupperware that didn't, you know, in my baking racks that weren't very heavy, those plastic ones came from the Dollar Tree for a dollar each. So I tried to keep things on the down low and on the cheap where I could. The rollouts came from eBay, and there was a few other items on here from eBay. So um, just find out your needs. Open your cabinets. Give a measurement. Find out your needs. And um, uh, the lid pan the, for the lids here over here. The lid pan door holder here. It came from eBay. These inserts here came from Big Lots. And some more of my pullouts here. And they all came from eBay. And these little hooks right here came from Big Lots. This is Chef Will or J.D. Pendleton. And we want to thank you for coming along for the ride. We hope you've enjoyed your trip with us. Uh, as far as organizing the kitchen goes. Uh, I would say we had a really good time because I really hate organizing the kitchen. But now we're off to do the guest bath and the master retreat bath. So that ought to be interesting. It's, they're not too bad. They shouldn't. I don't. I don't know how bad the guest bathroom is because I never go in there. That's when my girls come. That's kind of got all the makeup and stuff on everything. So we're gonna go in there and clean that bathroom. I already got it painted. It's all ready to go. All I have to do is just clean out the cabinet and I've ordered all new hardware for all of my kitchen cabinets, for all of my upper doors, drawers, and for both uh, sets of bathroom cabinets as well. So the cabinet knob should be in here. They're like a birdcage style cabinet or knob. And then also over here, over here, this whole mess over here is gonna be gone because my son's building me some solid black uh, uh, a cabinet's right here. It's going to stair step up. It's going to have like a dish rack in it, the microwave, some baskets down here for my onions from the garden and for my potatoes from the garden, which is right now in those buckets. Um, and then all of my dehydrated and canned goods will go into another pantry. So I got the hardware all for that. And that, like I said, that's going to be a beautiful piece right here. I can't wait till you guys see that. And I'd like to go over and maybe film my son making it um, if he lets me. He just does a beautiful job. I mean, he does the really expensive kitchens. He does an excellent job. And um, I'd like to say I taught him everything that I know. But he's way beyond me now in cabinets. He really knows how to build a cabinet. And, and um, so I'd like to get him to come in here and give me some scroll work and do some things in this kitchen and help me update it a little bit. Now, we are painting the kitchen. This is not going to be the color that it is. And I do, I did all this because now I've got some tile, I bought some tile and it's going to be going on the wall. And, um, and so painting and tile and some brick and, or some stone in here, that's going to be next. So come along for the ride and I'm going to teach you how you can do this yourself and save a lot of money. Okay, you can, you can do this. Be sure to hit the subscribe button because we want you to teach us as well as us teach you. Okay, so tell us how you organize. Tell us how you prep or prepare for an emergency. We would love to hear from you, okay? This is Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton. Hit that subscribe button. Blessings.